What's up, my friends? This is Vince, and welcome to my MTB crib. <laughs> this is one bedroom, one bathroom, one and everything, but it's something, something. In this Ooh. video, I will show you my travel desk setup in Indianapolis, Indiana, and how I set it up. So, prepare yourself for two hours video. I'm just kidding. Okay, enough with the corny jokes and let's get down to the business. First, I will show you our space so we can decide where to put it. Okay. That's the first spot by the window, but it's gonna be a little bit tight. So I decided to just make it as our storage. It will be nice to put it over here by the window, but I don't know if somebody's watching me over what? here. Next spot is by the dining, but it's gonna be a hassle when we're eating. So you can see it's really tight. It will block up another chair on the dining table. So I decided to put it on that spot right here. That door is our bedroom. Where where sleeping happens. You know what I'm saying? Alright, let's get started. First, let me grab all the big stuff. Okay. The table. The monitor. Next is the mouse. Alright, let's set up the table. I wanna show you that I put tapes. You no, know, you see those black small tapes? That's where I put my mouse. Now let's stand the tape. I don't need to put it in place yet, so it's easy so for me to put the mount on the mount. Alright, I'm going to put the mouse pad and the mount so you guys can see which mount I use. The same like last time. Oh, this is the, for the mic. But I don't think I will need this because I'm using the Rode, Rode video mic now. Put this way. I just need this one for the monitor. I have a new mount which is for camera. And we're, we're going to use the same thing axis. And I think that's about it. Need the wrench. So I have this the cargo so it doesn't get the table because this table is not strong. And don't forget the screw driver. So that's the money the monitor now. That's the amount for the camera. To overhead shot and let's get started. Alright, let's start mounting first. We need to connect this two piece first. This two. Put it here. Next, this two piece. Just put it inside, you know? Fits together. Like a something. Yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see the sticker. Where is it? Oh, I forgot to put this one. Let's see. Be careful with this one, this one. This one will come. Can you remove this? Let's make a rubber. Rubber is. I tried to position it first before make it really tight. The table swabbly. I'll show you a technique how to make it not wobbly wobbly. This one is already connected a uh, camera mount. I can put it anywhere I want to because I have this. The three axis thing that goes everywhere. And screw this. This one can extend too. And the three axis, see? So you can do the overhead or whatever head you want to do. Let's put the monitor. Alright, so now we're gonna connect the monitor. I just bought this uh, TV cover to protect my monitor and I don't have anything before to protect it. I think it's like three dollars. You know, Amazon coupon codes. So I still have the same monitor. And I already screwed this, so I just need to unscrew the other two. Let me show you. You just hook those two screws, and you know. Uh oh. There you go. And we screw again. That's how you connect your monitor. Now I will show you the cables that I need to put in the monitor. USB-C to display port for my laptop to the monitor. HDMI cable just in case I need it because sometimes the display port on my monitor is messing up already and I can connect it on my PlayStation 5 too. And the power for the monitor. And that's about it for the back of the monitor. I'll be back after I put all this cable. Okay. This is the cable management later. We're done with the mounts, let's put the table back in the wall. You see the table is still wobbly. I'll show you a technique how to make this sturdy. Just push the legs, just wobbly now. It's still wobbly because you know it's a cheap table, but it works. Alright, we're almost done. Next is the surge protector. Make sure you use your surge protector. Next is our laptop and laptop stand. Charger. So the display port is not working again, so I'm using HDMI for my monitor. Let's 
that's it. Next will be what's on the desk. Everything okay. is pretty much the same. We have the mouse pad, the same mouse, same keyboard, but we have a new keyboard coming. So we have a review for that keyboard. Phone, same headphones, same hard disk, and the same USB hub. And that's it. The only difference in this setup in Indianapolis, I don't have my streaming setup because the internet or the Wi-Fi here in hotels sucks. And lastly, the Hyatt House chair. Next is my PlayStation 5. I almost forgot my PS5. Remove the protection. Super protected, right? And I will set it up over here. And the PlayStation 5. There's supposed to be 8K, but I don't have 8K uh, TV. HDMI. The cord. And there you go, our setup is done. And Ooh. that will wrap up our travel desk setup in Indianapolis. Thank you all for watching. Have a blessed day. Please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel.